First leg of the World Cup between UBC and the University of California is in the books. 28 to 17 is the final score here at Witter Rugby Field in Berkeley. It was really a story of two halves. We talked about the dominance of this UBC forward pack, Colin Hawley, and that's where it started. Well, the UBC forwards were extremely dominant. Here you see him just pushing over the line, the big studs in the engine room, just barreling over and dotting it down to UBC's first try. And sometimes good work in the forwards means there's going to be space for the backs. Yeah, you see the winger right here, and Menard Kool can just step in the 15 and dotting down another one from UBC. And now look at this, the feed for Cal, but it's pushed over by UBC, the dominance of the front row once again. But Cal wouldn't be denied completely. Three points off the boot of Russell Webb, but UBC wasn't done in the first half, Colin. And again, the backs go to work with hands all the way out to the wing again, scoring in the corner, hotly contested by the Bears, but getting another dot down. Well, and in the second half, 28 to three was the score, and Cal starts to fight back a little bit, uses the wind at their back. What happens here, Colin? Little quick tap in from the big man at number eight, Drew Gaffney. He decides to take it upon himself to tap it and go forward. He was an awesome, awesome player all day long for the Bears. And Cal hadn't scored a try since March of 2015. Gaffney wasn't the only one. Right at the end of the game, Fozzie Kawash, the replacement scrum half, does a little dance step and just gets the ball to the line, touches the white paint. And the final score, 17 points to Cal. And would you say a moral victory? Do we say that anymore? Collins got to feel good for Cal. Cal comes out, finishing the game off extremely well, playing their own brand of rugby, playing it quickly with this very big UBC Thunderbird team. Both teams battling out to the very end. Very proud of the Cal Bears. UBC coming away with a very good victory away from their home turf. Well, speaking of good rugby, we will be back on March 25th for the one versus two. The Gales from Moraga board the bus, take the short drive to Berkeley, and they will face the number one California Golden Bears right on this field here at Witter. It's a five o'clock game under the lights. It doesn't get any better than that. For Colin Hawley, I'm Brian Hightower. Thanks for watching rugby on the Pac-12 Networks. Join us in March for another good one.